Good morning, my beautiful angels. Blessings and greetings to you as we continue wrapping up with your June energetic messages for our lovely sign of Sagittarius. This message is for singles. This are for those of you who are not in relationships you have been single you haven't been in a relationship in a while and you're just doing you some of you might be waiting for a particular person to come back or some of you might be just waiting for that particular someone receive these messages in the love and light in which they are intended and always know that your own intuitive gifts along with whatever's going on and whoever your twin flame or your true love is that the universe is working on for you also will alter anything that is guided here today okay first we're going to tap into the tarot then we're going to just go into some oracles for clarification nice short and simple wrap up into looking into what's the energy for the singles as we are ending june starting into the month of july shortly and then don't forget to come back for your july energetic readings in about a week or so and we'll start off in the beginning again checking to see where the energies might have changed as we've gone into a new month so wow we are right at the top of it all sagittarius with the temperance card the queen of wands the four of wands and the king of swords so for those of you that are single with the temperance card coming out is still is you are the overall focus this is a time where it is for you to pay attention to you and to focus on you for many of you it's not by mistake it's not a coincidence that you are not in a relationship or that you haven't been really together with someone for a while the universe is saying this is a time for you to do you to grow to love who you are to appreciate who you are so that this way you can inspire in that and show that onto others how they are to love you how you deserve to be loved too many times we want other people to love us and provide to us the things that really have to begin with self so appreciate this time of being single appreciate this time of patience that you need to give not only yourself but your love life Many of you, you've gone through the gamut when it comes to love. And your heart, your soul, your energy needs this break. It needs this break for you to do the other things that you are destined in your life and along your spiritual path journey to do. Give yourself time and patience to learn from your past, to evolve, to realize the beauty in you and who you are and what you truly deserve in a love partner. And if this is even the time for you to take on that relationship and what it brings into your life. Love sometimes in relationships doesn't always bring joy. It brings heartache and sorrow. Um, it requires a lot from us. So while you have that load of stress and demand of what a relationship brings and having someone in your life as a romantic partner, Learn to love you, learn to be patient, patient with love, patient with yourself, patient with the process of life. Venture out and do the things that you dream of. Listen, no one and nothing is holding you back. You have the freedom to soar and to fly and to be wherever at whatever time you choose to be. You have no one to answer to other than to yourself. It's quite different though when you're engaged in a relationship with someone. You're not looking over your shoulder. You're not looking at texts. You're not being stressed out with the responsibilities that a relationship really truly brings. And some of you might not be ready for that. You don't have the patience for that because there's still so much within you that you need to grow and to learn and get together before you can apply that patience and love and understanding to a mutual loving relationship. With the Queen of Wands, you're standing your guard, you're protecting your home, your property, the mental aspect, everything that signifies importance to you at this time. This is what you are holding dear to your life. This is what you are working upon. This is where you are putting your energy and drawing and giving your love to. Many of you, you do have plans. And in your dreams, you do want to see yourself celebrating a love union or marriage in the far or near future. But for now, you know it is not to be. 
So don't sell yourself short and don't sell yourself dreams that you know really aren't in the cards for you right now. But it doesn't mean that it's not in the cards. You will celebrate many things during this time when you are by yourself. Enjoy those moments. Embrace them. There are many other celebrations to come. And celebrations, too, involving love. With the King of Swords energy, there is someone out there waiting for you as well or working towards themselves so that they can be this king that you want to align your queenship with. But he's working on his emperor energy as well. He's working on the mental things and the physical things that he needs to do for himself before he can do them and honor them for his queen. Get perfect match. Workaholic. Love offer and love. A new experience. So yes, somewhere around the horizon, possibly even in this month as we end June, some of you may be experiencing a new love offer, a new opportunity of love that you wasn't expecting. And sometimes that's the best. When we found ourselves attracted to someone or someone comes into our life un, you know, romantically and we're not searching for it, we're not running after it, it comes to us in a very genuine way. Some of you might open up that door and some of you might not. But it doesn't mean that the opportunity won't come by. With a perfect match, for some of you, when you open that door, yes, there's a great chance that your perfect match, your twin flame, the one who shadows you, the one who is the equal to you, is at the other side of that door. That's the person that completes you, or that's the one that you feel God has chosen for you. It's not for everyone, but for many of you, that person will be coming through, or at least starting to show themselves to you. Some of you might be dealing with issues that you're not ready for love because you're too busy working. You're working making your capital. You're working developing your businesses, your trade. You're working on yourself, self-work. And if you're working towards your dream and you need the finance or the money or the education or whatever it is that you need, to let that dream soar and to become a reality, you're going to spend a lot of times, as most, as most singles do, working. But in between that work, or work and no play, we know it leads a very dull, unfulfilling life. Take time to make room for love. Because work can be overwhelming. And even when you do work a lot, keep the connections to those that you have you know, a physical romantic interest. Stay in touch, go on casual dates, dates, you know, and connect with people. Keep the line of communication open. Don't just, you know, just because you're single, just work, work, and work, and work. Eventually, that door of love and the opportunity of love is going to come, but you've got to also, you know, make connections towards that by meeting people, by dating, by talking, by communicating, letting people know how you're doing, you know, what you're into in life, letting them know that, yeah, I'm single and I'm really working hard, but I'm not closed off to love, right? Because people won't know if they can come towards you or if you're even thinking about possibly connecting unless you show them and give them those vibes. So being closed off and being engulfed in your work 100% isn't healthy either. And that's not going to help bring love to you. And it's not going to help your love life grow. With love offer, a new door to romance. So here in this reading, as we wrap up your single energy for this month, you have two love offers or two signs confirming that love is there's a great potential for love in your life. In some cases, a perfect match. A person that you're really going to vibe with. A person that you might actually say, hey, maybe I'm ready to fall in love again. What else we get? Turning over a new leaf. Someone that you could have had an interest in in the past, then maybe you passed them up because you didn't feel they were right at the time. Maybe they've turned a new leaf and now... 
they look promising in your eye. This person could be the one that gives you all the happiness you desire when you spend romantic time or just genuine time with them. You feel happy. You feel like it's your dream. You can't believe that this person is so wonderful. In the middle of the deck, we get super sweet. This could be a guy or gal who's like, you know, they're, they're a gentleman. She's a real kind miss. Very polite with her words and her and her gestures. And he's very kind. He opens the door. He pulls out the chair for you. All the things that we want a guy and gal to do for us, this person can have these beautiful qualities. What else do we have for messages for the singles as we close out June? A wish, someone you wish for is coming into your life. Don't give up. You might be working and you might not be thinking about love 24-7 as you shouldn't. But your wish for love, your desire for love, the universe knows of it. It's heard it. And someone can be coming through to you or working their way slowly towards that door of love that you've desired. Friendship. This could be based on a friend. It could be someone that's in your life right now that you're giggling and he howling with and having a good time and you don't even know that's going to be the love of your life. So the connection could be based first on friendship and then develop into romance as many true loves do. With the card of romance, yes. A wish, friendship, and then romance. So that could be exactly the order of my singles, how your love life comes about to a real important change. You make your wish and intentions to the universe. You set it aside. You work on yourself. You work on your life. You work on your projects and your finances and your career. You're dealing with your friends. You're enjoying life. And lo and behold, one of those people that you think is just a friend is really going to be so much more. It's going to be a romantic connection. And then through that door, the new experience of love will follow. In the middle of the deck, I'm sorry, she keeps, you know who that is, shaking the camera. You will be together, finally join the simple things and pleasures of life. I feel like this is going to be someone who enjoys both the small and big things in life as you do. They're not very egotistical. They're very simple and plain, but yet majestic in their love and their energy. There will be cause for celebration because finally the two of you, I think you're going to be celebrating and laughing at the same time that you could have been in each other's life. As has been the story for many people all this time as friends. And now you come together as lovers, never expecting it, but just excited and ecstatic about what this connection now means for the both of you. Is there anything else that could impact or alter anything for the Sagittarius singles or that they should know of? Divine calling. For many of you, the relationships that you're seeking or the love that you desire still hasn't happened yet because you are working towards your higher purpose. This time that you are single, like I said, it's not by mistake. You have been divinely called to do a certain mission for the universe and you have a destiny to fulfill. Your magnetic energy is so extraordinary, but right now, God in the universe has a different need for it right now. Sagittarius, your next relationship will be one of unconditional love. The time is going to change for you where you're going to find the person that loves you as you love them. And it's going to be easy. It's not going to be hard. The bottom of the deck. There will be someone trying to fight against your happiness or if they learn of your happiness. But you will have the upper hand. So whoever tries to break up your future happiness and love. They will fail. 
the middle of the deck. They're jealous because the relationship they had with you was toxic. They're a toxic lover. And they, they, they can't see themselves understanding you falling in love with someone else and being in a real, true, loving relationship. Because all they know is toxicity. Singles, don't worry about your past loves because they're still out there having flings. They're strategizing trying to work against you they're sending you a lot of information and misinformation just to torment you this there are ex-lovers that are very jealous of you jealous of you even if you're not in a relationship the thought of you being in one or just the bitterness that you're not with them has them on this kind of like a vendetta against you for no other reason the middle deck we end on a mission what did i say they're determined and focused to cause havoc in your life and your romance but you're not going to let them they're very irresponsible this person at the bottom of the deck they're very controlling and you weren't going to allow them to control you and that that's why you're no longer with that person so they um have an issue with that as you can see they, they're causing a lot of havoc. They're causing things to fall all over on the altar. That's how negative their energy is towards you and any potential relationship that you can have. And it doesn't involve them. In closing, we get ex-lover, all spark. So there is the energy of an ex-lover around many of my single saggies. And the bottom of the deck we got, wow, watch your back. So... Keep doing what you're doing, Sagittarius, for yourself and the universe, the divine mission that many of you have been set upon at this time. You're single for a reason, but there is an ex-lover that has really negative connotations towards you. An ex-lover, they might come to you pretending to still have feelings, or they might come to you showing their anger and bitterness towards you for you not taking them back or you not corresponding with them they are your enemy this ex-lover is your enemy watch your back blessings and greetings